No 3D modeling or animation skills? No problem. In just five minutes, we'll create a fully animated game-ready zombie model. AI is doing some insane things. Let me show you. Hey there, my name is Alex and I'm a professional 3D artist in game development. I've worked on projects like Subway Surfers, Gardenscapes, Primal Hunt, and many more. On this channel, I explore the latest AI tools for 3D artists. So make sure to subscribe to stay ahead of the game. First, let's head over to 3DAI's website. All we need to do is type in a text prompt describing what we want. In this case, we're making a zombie. So we type that into the field, hit the purple check mark, and let AI do its magic. If we don't like the result, no worries. We can tweak the prompt and keep hitting the button until we get something we love. All right, this one looks great. Now, we hit generate and wait about a minute to see the results. Boom, almost perfect, but we need a game ready model. That means we need it in a symmetrical A pose or T pose, a quick adjustment, another click, and now it's just right. Next, we confirm the model and select a square mesh. The free version doesn't allow us to adjust polygon count, so we'll stick with 18,000 polygons. And here we go. Our model is ready. Just look at this clean topology at first glance. I don't see any major issues. Now let's generate a PBR material based on our texture, a simple click, a short wait, and there it is. To download our model with all textures, we just confirm the material, wait a little, and save the files. Now we can load this model into any real-time engine like Unity, Unreal Engine, or 3JS. For this tutorial, I'm using Marmoset Toolbag. We import the OBJ, create a new material, and apply the textures. Let's set up a turnaround animation. Here's how to do it. Click this keyframe button to turn it green. Set the starting position of the model. Move the timeline to the end and rotate the model slightly to set a second keyframe. Open the keyframe panel. Select transform, press control plus A to select all keys and click this icon to make the animation linear. That way it spins at a constant speed. Uh, done. Now we render the animation and that's it. But wait, let's take it a step further. Let's animate this character. For this, we'll use Mixamo, a free AI animation tool. Just log in and upload the model. In the setup window, we place markers on um, chin wrists, elbows, knees, groin. Since we don't need individual fingers, we select a two finger system and hit Next, AI will now auto-rig our model. Mixamo has a huge library of motion captured animations. Just type what you need in the search bar. This pose is nice, but let's check for a better one. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Now we download the animation and import it back into Marmoset. We apply the same PBR material as before, hit play, and our zombie is alive. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we created a fully animated game character without needing any prior 3D modeling or animation knowledge. Of course, this isn't perfect. You might notice some texture or topology artifacts, but overall, the result is amazing and can save weeks of work. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI and 3D tips. You can also check out my art station for more of my work. QR code on screen and link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.